Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have three nail looks to show you guys. The first two are using gel nail polish, so you will need a lamp. And then the last one is just with regular nail polish. So right now, I'm just applying two coats of the shade Leaf. This is from Model Ones, and this is such a pretty green shade. I really just wanted the theme of this video to be fresh and green, so that's the look I was going for but I applied two coats of that and then cured it under my lamp and then I'm finishing that off with the Beatles matte gel top coat I've been using this for like a year now and I really do like this this is one of my favorites so I'll have this and everything else I'm using linked down below in the description box but yeah I applied that and then cured it under my lamp for 30 seconds and even that alone looks so pretty, you guys. But anyways, this look was inspired by the sweater nails technique. So I started by laying three pieces of striping tape vertically on my nail. And I'm gonna take that same base color leaf and apply it to half of my nail. And with this, you really wanna make sure you get everything covered. You don't wanna leave any gaps or anything because it will show when we do the next step. So right after that, I'm gonna go in with some clear acrylic powder. This is from Valentino. You can also use clear dip powder and what I'm gonna do is just dump that completely over my nail making sure again to cover all of that wet gel polish right after that I'm gonna cure my nail under my lamp for 30 seconds and then I'm just using a brush to get off some of that excess powder you really don't have to do this because eventually it'll come off anyway but after that I'm using some tweezers to try to get the striping tape off and as you can see I was struggling I was so discouraged at this point because I was like oh my gosh it's stuck on my nail this look is over but then I just ended up using my fingers because I could get a better grip on the striping tape and you guys this turned out so good it was exactly that kind of monochromatic texture look i was going for so i'm just going to repeat this on all my nails apply the polish to one half of my nail pour the powder on cure it and then peel the striping tape off and i just i realized this is a look that i'm going to be trying in so many different ways because there are so many ways you could do textured looks in nail art and i'm like duh why didn't i think about this before so i hope you guys are excited because i have so many ideas that i want to try out back to the nail look so even though i did like it i was like the edges are a little rough so i decided to use a buffing block and try to kind of smooth it out a little bit and get rid of that just bumpiness that was there and i'm not digging into my nail when i do this i'm just floating it on tops just focusing on the textured part and i'm using the corner of the buffing block to also go in between the lines and this worked so well i was so shocked because sometimes i'm really winging it guys like i don't know how this stuff is going to turn out but this is a great way to just sharpen up those lines get some clean edges going and it just made this look so much better so that's something you can do but it's really up to you personal preference after i finished buffing and cleaning up my lines i washed my hands just to get rid of that dust that was on my nail and here is the final look i love this so much i love when it turns out how i actually pictured it in my head that's just the best feeling um but moving on to look number two i'm going to start off with nude pink as my base color and then i applied that same matte gel top coat and cured my nails for 30 seconds for this design we're going to be using some chrome powder so you're going to need a no wipe top coat so basically it's a gel top coat that doesn't have that sticky finish when you're done curing it and I'm just gonna draw some random squiggle blobs on my nail and basically wherever you put this that's where the chrome powder is gonna stick and that's why I love doing this over a matte base color because it won't stick to the matte finish so I'm gonna apply random squiggles and then cure that under my lamp for 30 seconds and then I'm gonna go in with my chrome powder so this is from Amazon again I'll have this link down below but I'm using one of those silicone tools just to buff it into my nail and get that chrome look and you really don't need much like I'm just using I don't know how much that is but I'm not using that much on each nail and I'm just gonna start rubbing it in circles and kind of just press it into my nail and sometimes it does take a bit to get started I'm not sure why like chrome powders can sometimes be a hit or miss for me but this time it did work which was nice but sometimes these tools just don't want to work for me so I end up using my finger which isn't the best thing because your fingers have oils on them so I mean again not the best options but I do it sometimes anyways
So here's what my nails are looking like. I feel like the biggest downside to chrome powders is that they can be a bit messy, but what I'm doing now is just taking that same fluffy brush from earlier and just gently going over my nails to remove some of that excess powder. And it's not gonna get everything, but it'll get it clean enough to where I can apply a top coat over the chrome areas. So I'm gonna take that same gel top coat and just apply it over the gold chrome. You really do wanna make sure you cover it wherever the chrome is because if not it can come right back off after i apply the top coat i'm just going to cure that under my lamp for 30 seconds and once your nails are cured you can go ahead and wash them and just really get off the rest of that pigment that may still be stuck on your skin or your nails and yeah this is the final look again it turned out so cute and i just i love the way the off-white looks with the gold like it's just ah. I love it. For the next nail look, I'm using normal nail polish, so you don't need a lamp for this one. And I'm gonna start off with Topless as my base. And this is something I normally don't do, but I actually let it completely dry and then I added a quick dry top coat over my base. And the reason I did this is because this base color is so sheer, I didn't wanna accidentally pick it up while I was sponging and doing my ombre. So for the ombre, we're gonna add some green in there again. And I'm using the shade Call It Cliche and then also that same base color topeless and I'm just gonna apply that to a makeup sponge or cosmetic wedge it goes by different names but it's all the same thing I get mine from Target and sometimes Amazon but most of the time I get them from Target from the up and up brand so what I'm doing is I'm applying a line of green and then a line of that sheer base right underneath and then I'm just sponging it and bouncing it up and down on my nail. You don't wanna to go too far down. I really focus mainly on the tip and then I'll go a little bit up and down just to blend those colors together. And because these are two sheer colors, it will take a little bit of time to really build that up. So I ended up doing four layers of this, which really isn't that much, like it goes by really quickly, but that's gonna really help the colors blend and give you that seamless look. So if you're new to ombre, I personally wouldn't do colors like this that are more on the sheer side. Definitely go with something more opaque, but honestly, it just takes practice. I promise you guys, you will get it if you keep trying. My ombres, I should actually insert a picture because my ombre that I tried like, I don't know, six years ago, seven years, it was forever ago, was so, oh my gosh. I'm gonna insert a picture so you guys can see. And this just proves the practice, you guys. It makes a huge difference. Um, but as you can see, I actually didn't use a barrier this time just because I knew it wouldn't get too messy. So I'm just gonna clean that up really quick with a cleanup brush and some acetone and then finish off with my glossy top coat, which is probably the most satisfying part of an ombre, you guys. Like, look at this. Oh my gosh, it just smooths everything out so nicely. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know kind of if you like this where it's, you know, three full manis and a voiceover or if you like the compilations where it's quicker and just one finger. I want your feedback and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.